Welcome! This video explains the common medications prescribed after a heart attack. Good afternoon, sir. How may I help you today? Hi, I had a heart attack recently and I was given all these different medicines. Can you help me understand what they are for? Of course. These are the five common types of medications you may be prescribed after ballooning or stent insertion. Let's go through them one by one. The first type of medications are blood thinners. Blood thinners prevent blood clots from forming within your stent or the rest of your heart arteries. This reduces the chance of a heart attack or stroke. After ballooning or stent insertion, you will be given two blood thinners because your risk of blood clot will be higher at first. One will usually be given for a month to a year or sometimes longer. The other will be taken throughout your lifetime. Remember to take them after food to minimize gastric discomfort. A side effect of this medication is that you may experience bruises or bleeding more easily. You should inform your doctor immediately if you experience worsening bruises, unexplained bleeding or notice sticky red or black stools. If you visit other doctors or dentists, do inform them that you are on blood thinners. The next group of medications are statins. Statins decrease the production of bad cholesterol in your body. This lowers the risk of bad cholesterol buildup in your arteries. When taking statins, do look out for persistent and unexplained muscle pain. In rare cases, the liver may be affected. Inform your doctor immediately if you notice yellowing of the eyes or skin, dark brown urine or experience stomach pain with nausea or vomiting. The third type of medications are beta blockers. These reduce the heart's demand for oxygen and lowers your blood pressure. Over time, this helps to improve heart function. Some patients may experience giddiness, tiredness or cold hands and feet. If you feel giddy, change your posture slowly. Symptoms usually improve with time when your body gets used to the medication. The fourth type of medications are ACE inhibitors and ARBs. These medications help to protect the heart and improve the heart function over time. They also help lower high blood pressure by widening your blood vessels. If these medications make you feel giddy, change your posture slowly. A common side effect of ACE inhibitors is dry cough. Do inform your doctor if the cough is persistent and is bothering you. The last type of medication are nitrates. These relax the heart vessels and increase blood flow and oxygen supply to the heart. ISDN and ISMN should be taken daily to prevent chest pain, while GTN should only be taken to relieve episodes of chest pain. You may experience giddiness, headaches or flushing on your face. If you experience giddiness, change your posture slowly. Check with your doctor if these symptoms bother you. In the event of chest pain, follow these instructions for taking GTN. Firstly, sit down. Dissolve one tablet under the tongue. Do not swallow it. If the pain is not resolved after 5 minutes, take a second tablet. If chest pain still persists after 2 to 3 tablets, call 995 immediately. Continue taking one tablet every 5 minutes to relieve the pain until the ambulance arrives. You should store the tablets in their original bottle, in a cool, dry place as GTN is sensitive to light, heat and moisture. Do carry the bottle with you at all times. Write down the date of opening on the bottle and discard unused tablets 8 weeks after opening. Unopened bottles can be stored until their expiry date. I see. By the way, can I take TCM together with these medications? You are advised to avoid traditional Chinese medicines because some herbs can thin the blood and may further increase your risk of bleeding. 
Do check with your doctor or Chinese medicine practitioner if you are unsure. What about fish oil and red yeast rice? Can I take those instead of my cholesterol medication? No, you should not replace your cholesterol medications with food supplements because they are not proven to be as effective as your medications. Ah, okay. Thanks for explaining everything. You're welcome, sir. Talk to us again if you have other questions. Today, we learnt about the common medications that are prescribed after a heart attack. We also saw how they treat heart disease and minimize the risk of heart attacks.